the second of this evening's categories, the Industry Awards. The first four nominees in this sector have taken on giants, measured themselves against the best and even achieved minor miracles, improving the appearance of Dublin's O'Connell Street. Under the stewardship of green-fingered Tom Walsh, the SAP Group has been 30 years a-growing. His company has created the living landscape in places like Abbey Leaks and Dublin's O'Connell Street. About 20 years ago, Gayburn brought uh, a group of Irish people on, on the uh, Late Late Show. And he said, these are young Irish entrepreneurs. And I said, what in the name of God could they be going at? I thought uh, I would like to be one, but the industry we were in was just uh, kind of glorified farming. It is good to be here because we're now recognised as entrepreneurs. All of us think we could do anything or everything, but actually the truth is I would have a passion for what I do. The business comes second. Sligo's Lotus Automation ensure critical manufacturing units always measure up. With branches in Ireland, the UK and the USA, as well as expansion plans in the Far East, Fergal Broder's calibration specialists are truly going global. As far as I'm concerned, uh, an entrepreneur is uh, somebody who runs his own business. Nothing more than that. They have important roles. I don't think they're important people. Important as in probably they create jobs and they sustain jobs. What we're good at is developing a team. What drives me would be... Um, it's probably just a personal challenge to be able to, uh, it's to chase, it's the, it's the challenge, it's being able to uh, chase that contract and actually win it. Icon Technologies are led by Louth teammates Kieran O'Donoghue and Dermot McElroy. The only indigenous computer manufacturer in Ireland, Icon produced more than 100,000 computers last year as part of its suite of hardware and software offerings. As an entrepreneur, you can often have a heavier workload than other people, but because you're in control of your own destiny, it actually, for me, creates a less stressful environment. When you work hard building up a company, when you build it from a small level, you get it to a stage where it's something you're quite proud of. It's very nice for somebody to come along and endorse that. Everybody has a different reason for wanting to do what they do. Some people are very money-driven. Some people just want to create a better lifestyle for their family. And I think most people are doing it for the challenge of... Uh, succeeding in life. In 1988, Glencairn began with an eight-unit residential development. Today, the group founded by Galwegian Ray Grehan has 3,500 units under development and a portfolio worth 1 billion euro. It's a lot easier today than it was in the 80s uh, when I started out. Uh, there's more money around, there's more opportunities around. Put the head down and go for it. The reward is working with a, a good team of people and leading that team uh, to ensure success. I think I've won already by being selected. Any one of the 24 can win and, uh, you know, I take my cap off to any of them, whoever wins it. From Donegal to Dong Tang, the final four industry nominees have real staying power. Building business empires full of Eastern promise, these daring pathfinders have shown the steel to make some serious dough. Steel reinforcement manufacturers Midland Steel was founded by Tony Woods. They've reduced the lead-in time from two weeks to two days. And with their innovative steel mesh, the leash company is going from strength to strength. I'm not one to sit in the subs bench. I'd like to be playing in the field as much as I can and play to the best of my ability. I play to win. All the time I play to win. So I'm not doing anything different to this. Everybody has their own ideas. So what I have as my idea it might work for the next entrepreneur. An entrepreneur, I'm told, is supposed to be somebody that's a little bit unique. So if they're unique, they'll have their own way of doing things. In China, Richard Barrett has spotted opportunity in the city known as the Paris of the East. His company, Treasury Holdings, is creating the world's largest eco-city in the Yangtze Delta, off the coast of Shanghai. To some pieces of advice I got that were very good, mostly to do with people. 
to hire the best people to be good. And if you came across a very good person, hire him anyway, even if you don't have a job for him. Because if he is good, he'll make a job for himself. In a company that is partially ideas, like our one, the whole team needs to be thinking new ways of doing things or extraordinary things or off the wall things, but they need to be thinking. It was Declan Gallagher's half-baked idea that turned a small Donegal bakery into a major market player. Producing more than 180 different products each day, they hold 25% of the par-baked market with their brand, Gallagher's French Mill. You've got to be able to take the challenges and never give in. You never, you never say no. It's, it's always maybe. Depends on what you're good at in life. I would be from a production background. I would like to uh, minimise production as little as I can and new ideas, new concepts to improve it all the time. So everyone has their own good points and bad points. If you call it entrepreneurship or not, I don't know. The element of pride I would get out of it is when you see a person should it be in the UK or in Europe buying one of your products in the shopping basket, that's when you get the real satisfaction, get the pride element out of it. Property development company P. Elliott was established in 1942 in Cavan. Now led by brothers Noel and Mark, the company employs over 3,000 people in projects that will turn over more than 300 million euro this year. You have to be a team player more so than a maverick in a family business. You can't be paranoid about it, but you have to you have to take more than one view into consideration. If you give somebody a word, and uh, that's important, and that has to to mean something. And uh, I'd like people to think that of us and of me, that if I give you my word, that that's important to me. You know, there's a great life in business. Anyone that has an idea should pursue it. Year. Please welcome the business editor of the Irish Times, John McManus. In business, size matters. For sheer ambition and the raw ability to act upon it, this year's Industry Entrepreneur of the Year is Richard Barrett of Treasury Holdings. Since co-founding Treasury Holdings, Richard Barrett has been relentless in the pursuit of opportunity. His journey has brought him halfway across the world and back tonight to pick up the industry award. Um, that's very heavy, that. Um, this, this award is actually given to myself and Johnny Ronan, who's slightly media shy and can't be here tonight. Um, it's also accepted by me on behalf of the wonderful team that we have in Treasury Holdings, the board of directors, the management, and the hardworking staff. I'd like to thank also people who helped us en route to where we are today, and one group that's often forgotten, but who do Trojan work, are actually the politicians when they go abroad. I live most of the time in, in China now, and tremendous help was given to us by um, Ireland's secret weapon, uh, who's, who's uh, the Irish ambassador in Beijing, Declan Kelleher, and the consul in Shanghai, and three Irish ministers, one of whom is here tonight, um, who witnessed the signing of the first large contract we got in, in, in Shanghai, together with um, Mary Hannafin, who's since been very helpful, and the Taoiseach, and I know he's taken a batter in the news, but I tell you, he put his neck out for us, and... The second of tonight's award winner is Richard Barrett of Treasury Holdings, the 2006 Industry Entrepreneur of the Year. 